Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Interest rates are falling almost as fast as the stock market at the moment. And the impact is being felt in many places. As you guys may know, or if you've at least watched some of my past videos where I talked about interest rates, whenever the Federal Reserve decides to change interest rates, this affects savings accounts, credit cards, mortgages, personal loans, car loans, pretty much anywhere where you would borrow money, you feel the impact of interest rates changing. And with savings accounts, the bank is basically borrowing money from you by holding your money and then giving a payment to you in the form of interest. And so when the Federal Reserve decides to lower interest rates, this means that the interest rate on your savings account more than likely is going to be lowered as well. However, there is this one investment app who actually hasn't changed their interest rate in at least a year. And right now they're still offering a 2.5% interest rate for any cash held in your account and that app is the public investing app. The public app, formerly known as Matador, is an app that you can use to invest in the stock market. You can trade for free. There's actually no cost to buy and sell shares. And you can also purchase fractional shares. So if you wanted to just buy $5 worth of Apple or Google or maybe Amazon, you can do that within the public investment app. And the reason I'm making this video about the public app, specifically to highlight their interest rate, is because interest rates are falling everywhere. I've reviewed many investment apps, cash management accounts, savings accounts, checking accounts, and typically whenever the Federal Reserve decides that they're going to lower interest rates, almost every one of them lowers their interest rate at least within the next week. In fact, last week when the Federal Reserve announced that they were lowering rates, Robinhood, who is also a free investment app that offers fractional shares, that offers free trading, before the day was even over, they sent out an email to all of their users to let them know that the interest rate for their cash management account was going to be lowered by the same amount that the Federal Reserve announced that they were lowering interest rates. And that was by half a percent. So Robinhood didn't even wait a full 24 hours, and I don't even think it was eight hours after the announcement from the Federal Reserve that they were gonna lower their rate. So you may be asking, why has public not lowered their interest rate in almost a year? The reason I don't think they've lowered their interest rate is because that is one feature that may stand out above many of the other free trading apps that are, that are out there. So if you look at SoFi Invest, who also has their SoFi Money cash management account, you look at Robinhood, you look at M1 Finance, you look at some of the bigger banks who now have free trading like Charles Schwab, Fidelity. None of these accounts currently have even a 2% interest rate on their cash management or savings accounts. And so having a 2.5% interest rate really makes this app attractive, or at least to me, or at least to those people who know anything about the app. And some of you may be watching and saying, I've actually never heard of this application. So I'll go over a little review of what is offered in the public app and any details on this interest rate that you're receiving from the account. So of course, the interest rate on your cash is only on the cash. The amount of interest that you gain will only be based on the cash held in the public investing app. However, there is a limit. So with this account, the max that you can deposit is $10,000 in order to get that 2.5% interest rate. And as far as I can tell, at least from their website, there is no mention that if you go over 10,000, how much the interest rate will be because I've seen in the past where specific savings accounts, they may start off with a high interest rate, but anything above whatever their maximum amount is, then they would have a lower interest rate for any additional cash. With this account, I don't see anything like that mentioned as far as there being a lower interest rate. So they may actually stop you once you get to the $10,000 mark and either not allow you to deposit more funds or you may just not earn any interest on anything that's over $10,000. So even if you were to put in the max of $10,000, once you get that interest rate payment every month, you may want to either take that money out of the account or use the money that you gain in interest to use that to buy other stocks. So let's talk about the stock platform. As far as investing on the public app, like I mentioned, there's free trading, so you can buy in and out of any company without being charged a fee. You can also invest in fractional shares. Public specifically calls them slices. And with a slice, you can buy as little as $1 for any company that's available as a slice on their platform. So that means not every stock that you can buy in the public investing app is actually a stock where you can buy just a slice. 
However, most of the popular companies, the many businesses that you could probably think of, a lot of them are available as a slice, as well as index funds from Vanguard, as well as other companies. Now, one thing that really stood out to me were some of the investors into the public investment app. Because this isn't a public company, it's still private. They get a lot of money from either venture capital or from individual investors who just happen to have a lot of money. And so two of the public figures that stood out when I looked at their list of investors were Will Smith and JJ Watt. Both of these individuals are investors in the public app. So that means that they've given the owners of the public app money in order to invest in their platform so that they can own shares in the public app. And then if they were to ever go public in the future, then of course they would own those public shares as well. And the two lead investors on this platform are two venture capital companies. And the interesting thing to me, not necessarily these companies' names, because many of you, if you've never looked at venture capital, you may have never heard of these companies. Those two companies are Graycroft and Acel. But the thing that really stands out to me about Graycroft as well as Acel is that both of them were really early investors in the Venmo app. And Graycroft was also an early investor in the Acorns app. So both Venmo and Acorns are very popular fintech applications. And so I can see the public app becoming a very popular application as well, just for the fact that these two venture capital companies have put a lot of money in Venmo as well as Acorns. So I can see this platform probably growing to be as big as those two or maybe close to it. And so that means at some point, maybe some other business will either buy them out or they will IPO many years down the road. So if you're interested in trying the public app, if you sign up using my referral link, you will actually receive a free slice of stock, which could be valued up to $50. And you'll have one of nine different stocks to choose from when you get your free slice. Now the stock that I chose when I got my free slice many months ago was JP Morgan. Now I don't really remember what the other choices were, but out of the choices that I had, that was one of the stocks that I was interested in. And so the money that I got for my slice, I just chose that stock. But again, you'll have nine different choices to choose from. And from what I remember at least, all of the nine stocks were companies that I had heard of and they were pretty large companies. And so you probably can't go wrong with whichever company you choose. And again, that link will be available in the description as well as in the comment section below. So once you do sign up, let us know which company you chose out of the nine that were available in the comment section below. Let us know how you like the app or if you're already a user, let us know your experience with using the public app. And if you don't already have the public app, do you plan to use it as a trading app or do you plan to solely use it just for the interest rate that you can get on up to $10,000 on your account where you receive two and a half percent interest on your account? All right, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.